as the title of this essay suggests it's about the benefits of science we are enjoying in this modern world dear students you know that the blind are the people who cannot see the deaf cannot hear and the dumb cannot speak but science has given eyes to the blind ears to the deaf and speech to the dumb nowadays we can fly like a bird and swim like a fish scientific discoveries and inventions have turned the world into a wonderland and we are living in this wonderland nowadays you know science has brought about so many changes in our lives in almost every field of life we can see the marvels of science you know that our means of transportation for example our means of transportation have improved a great deal we can see that there are fast moving ships and vessels and those ships and vessels have electric and diesel and petrol powered engines so they are different from the steamers and the sailing ships of the past and they can move at a terrific speed even on the surface of the ocean and besides this we can also explore the depths of the sea by nuclear powered submarines and uh, there are fantastically designed designed automobiles and cars and buses and there are supersonic planes and bullet trains so we can move from one place to another and we can also transport goods from one part of the world to the other in no time within hours we can move from one part of the world to the other so such a great advance has been made in the means of transportation and after that you can see that we use science in agriculture as well so there are a lot of agricultural equipment and uh, uh, pesticides germicides fertilizers tractors harvesters mowers threshers so many things are there which are working in the field of agriculture and all these scientific uh, blessings have uh, uh, increased the production of food and we can also enjoy the benefits of science in the field of medicine the hospitals are equipped with latest machinery which is used for the diagnosis of patients and there are so many medicines available for the to treat the patients because the doctors now a days literally they are putting life into the dead and after that we can see the marvels of science in the field of uh, communication as well so modern means of communication have turned the world into a global village so there are telephones there are televisions there are mobile phones there are internets computers and so on so you can convey any information from one part of the world to the other uh, in no time so a great advancement has been made in the means of communication as well so we are, we are enjoying all these blessings of science all these marvels of science in almost every field of life not only this we can see the effects of science in industry we can see the effects of science in business and trade and in almost every field of life so we are living in a modern world nowadays and it's all because of the benefits of science we are enjoying uh, these days and now we come to the lesson using the scientific method method means principle so we are using scientific methods and the use of scientific methods has improved our life a good deal the writer the writers of this essay they are del bernard and lon edwards and why this essay was written about 60 years ago 
and uh, the writers of this essay they haven't discussed so many uh, marvels of science we we can see nowadays in this world but they have discussed some basic changes which have taken place as a result of the use of science and uh, the writer first of all he tells us about the benefits we are enjoying so all of us have benefited from the use of science in dealing with problems regarding the maintenance of health production and preservation of food construction of houses and improvement in the means of communication and transportation not only have uh, the the people changed but uh, their living style has also changed as a result of the use of scientific method and uh, we are living a better life than our forefathers our forefathers they could not explain so many happenings and those happenings were considered strange and mysterious but now we are better able to explain all those mysteries that's why we are better than our ancestors and forefathers and it's all because of the use of science first of all the writer discusses the control of diseases we have better control of disease in this modern world and it's all because of the use of scientific method we can control the diseases in a better way because we have modern means of diagnosis we have modern methods of medication so all these things have controlled those diseases which could not be cured in the past and uh, the writer compares the past with present he tells us that only 200 years ago seven out of eight babies died before reaching their first birthday seven out of eight babies died only one baby could live to be one years of age because they suffered from different diseases and passed away painfully before the child if because unusually strong people could go through the first year of their lives and the one who survived before he reached the age of 6 he could suffer from smallpox that was also one of the deadly diseases in the past and by the time people reached the age of 12 they could suffer from some other diseases like measles scarlet fever and uh, diphtheria they suffered from this kind of diseases and even then the battle for life was not over because uh, people they might have got some other diseases after uh, going through the 12 years of their lives they could suffer from yellow fever malaria cholera typhus typhoid and so many other diseases in short life was most uncertain in the past and a person who lived to be more than 30 years of age was considered lucky and fortunate but nowadays a great change i told you about the modern methods of diagnosis and medication a revolution has been brought about in the field of medicine because according to the writers babies are born in hospitals now where there is little likelihood of their getting a disease likelihood means possibility and uh, young people they are also uh, uh, protected against the diseases they are given vaccination and there are so many more modern methods of treatment so even incurable diseases have been cured and now a person can expect to live to be 70 years of age it means that more than 30 years have been added to the expected length of life so it is a great change because we can control the diseases in a better way and this was the very first point the writers discussed in this essay better control of disease ab thoda sa mukhtasar aap logon ko main urdu mein batata hu ताकि आपको अच्छी तरह से समझ आए सबसे पहले तो हमने बात की 
कि हम एक वंडरफुल वंडरलैंड में रह रहे हैं और हैरान कन दुनिया में जिसमें के बहुत सी ऐसी चीज़ें हैं साइंस के जो करिश्मे हैं जो हमें नज़र आते हैं अपनी जिंदगी में सबसे पहले राइटर ने बताया कि हम सब लोगों ने साइंस साइंसी तरीके को इस्तेमाल करके हम सब लोगों ने अपने बहुत सारे फवाद हासिल किए हैं अपनी ज़िंदगी को बेहतर बनाया है हम साइंसी तरीके इस्तेमाल करते हैं मेंटेनेंस ऑफ हेल्थ सेहत को बरकरार रखने के लिए प्रोडक्शन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ फूड खुराक की पैदावार और उसको महफूज रखने के लिए कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आर हाउसेज यू कैन सी दाई स्क्रेपर एंड फैंटेस्टिकली डिजाइन बिल्डिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दुनिया में कभी भी इतनी हैरान कन इमारत इतनी बुलंदो बाला इमारत कभी नजर नहीं आई थी और ये सब हमने साइंसी तरीके इस्तेमाल करके ये जो ह्यूज बिल्डिंग्स हैं ये खड़ी की हुई हैं दुनिया के मुख्तलिफ ममालिक में तो उसके बाद ये फायदे हमने उठाए और हमारी नकल हमल के जराए उनमें बहुत सारी बेहतरी आई है और हमारी पैगाम रसानी के कम्युनिकेशन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कम्युनिकेशन पैगाम रसानी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नकल हमल इनमें भी बहुत बेहतरी आई है और सबसे पहला जो पॉइंट उसने राइटर ने डिस्कस किया बेटर कंट्रोल ऑफ डिजीज बीमारियों पर बेहतर तरीके से काबू पाना तो जदीद तरीके इस्तेमाल करते हैं हम बीमारी की तशखीस के भी बीमारियों के इलाज के भी जदीद तरीके इस्तेमाल करते हैं हमने बीमारियों पर बेहतर तरीके से बेहतर तरीके से काबू पा लिया है तो माजी के बारे में उसने बताया 200 साल पहले क्या सूरत हाल थी कि आठ में से सात बच्चे तो अपनी पहली सालगिरह मनाने से पहले ही मर जाते थे ये सूरत हाल थी सिर्फ 200 साल पहले और सिर्फ गैर मामूली तौर पर जो स्ट्रॉन्ग मजबूत लोग होते थे वही अपने पहले साल की जिंदगी को पूरा करते थे उसके बाद भी छह साल की उम्र तक पहुंचने से पहले उन्हें स्मॉल पॉक्स चेचक की बीमारी लग जाती थी बारह साल के होते थे तो काली खांसी वूपिंग कफ मीजल्स खसरा डिफ्थेरिया खन्नाक स्कॉलेट फीवर सुर्ख बुखार ये बीमारियां लग जाती थीं फिर भी जिंदगी इंतहाई गैर यकीनी थी माजी में फिर भी खत्म नहीं होता था ये सब कुछ ये सिलसिला फिर भी खत्म नहीं होता था ये चलता रहता था बीमारियों का सिलसिला उसके बाद और बीमारियों में मुबतला होते थे लोग वो बीमारियाँ क्या थी वो थी येलो फीवर मलेरिया टाइफाइड टाइफस एंड इवन इन्फ्लुंजा बॉयज सो वंस दीज डिजीज स्टार्टेड स्प्रेड थ्रू आउट द कम्यूनिटी एंड आई टोल्ड यू लाइफ वॉज मोस्ट अनसर्टन इन द पास्ट एंड अ पर्सन हु लिव टू बी थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज तीस साल से जिसकी उम्र ज्यादा होती थी उसको बहुत खुशकिस्मत समझा जाता था ही वॉज कंसिडर्ड फॉर्चुनेट एंड लकी द पर्सन हु लिव टू बी थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज एज लेकिन आजकल बच्चे उसने कहा कि हॉस्पिटल्स में पैदा होते हैं बीमारी लगने का कम इम्कान होता है जदीद तरीके हैं इलाज के लोगों का इलाज किया जाता है तो अब सत्तर साल तक तो कर सकते हैं जिंदा रहने की और ये सब मुमकिन हुआ है साइंसी तरीके इस्तेमाल करने के बाद तो दिस वॉज बॉयज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एंड नाउ वी कम टू द सेकेंड पॉइंट दैट इज बेटर सैनिटरी कंडीशन by using the scientific method we have come to know that uh, unsanitary conditions cause the spread of diseases this is what we have come to know by using the scientific method and uh, what was uh, the sanitary means health and cleanliness health and cleanliness hygienic conditions sanitary condition means hygienic conditions and only 100 years ago a century ago the sanitary conditions of our towns and villages were very poor because the streets were unpaved they were not cemented the streets the streets were unpaved and poorly drained and uh, the, there were narrow alleys in the towns and cities and household garbage was thrown into the streets and uh, there was no proper drainage system in the cities there were stagnant pools of water in the streets of uh, the towns and uh, animals wandered through the streets feeding upon the garbage garbage means domestic waste and uh, outdoor toilets were common people didn't have toilets uh, uh, at their homes outdoor 
toilets were also common so this was the situation in the past and people they got water by the bucketful and they brought water from wells which were uh, situated at considerable distances and uh, because they had to carry water from wells situated at far off distances they had to use water sparingly for cleaning and uh, bathing purposes sparingly means carefully in a low quantity or carefully so this was the situation there was no proper water supply system in the past and i also told you there was no proper drainage system in the past but nowadays because we are using scientific methods we have come to know that unsanitary conditions cause the spread of diseases like cholera dysentery and typhoid we have come to know about that as a result of that nowadays our cities and towns are clean and tidy and there are proper drainage systems in every town and city and it is against the law to throw garbage into the streets because sewage or foul water from all sections of the city that is carried through sealed pipes to disposal plants and from there this water is disposed of and you know that in the growth of cities there was one great problem that was to supply sufficient water for the growing population of those cities and we also use scientific method for this purpose the writer tells us about los angeles los angeles has solved this problem los angeles that is one of the cities of united states of america so los angeles has solved the problem of water supply by bringing water to the city from colorado river that is situated 544 kilometers away and a thousand million liters are supplied to the city almost every day and this is a great advance because water from colorado river that is brought through sealed pipes or aqueduct aqueduct means underground channel of water so water is uh, uh, supplied through that sealed pipe and uh, people do not face any problem in short boys nowadays we have water supply systems we have drainage systems we have sanitary departments in every town and city and we are leading a neat and clean life nowadays and it's all because of the use of science and then the next point the writer discusses that is uh, more food and better food because changes have taken place in our eating habits as well by using the scientific method we have come to know that it's helpful useful for health to eat many kinds of foods and we have also learned how to how to supply ourselves with the variety of foods throughout the years no doubt people in the past they could also enjoy eating as much as we do nowadays they enjoy eating but they could not have variety of foods in the past they could eat only the vegetables and fruits growing on their own farms and in their own gardens and in winter season they they could get nothing no doubt thrifty housewives thrifty means economical frugal careful in the use of things thrifty housewives they preserved their home grown vegetables and fruits by using old and outdated methods of food preservation and those methods were canning and pickling and drying these were the methods of food preservation in the past and uh, sea foods and fish could be eaten soon they were caught and this food was available along the coast only so this was the situation the no doubt some of uh, the people in the past they preserved their home grown vegetables and fruits and they also preserved meats and they preserved meats by salting drying or freezing when the weather was cold enough but these methods of food preservation were not safe in the past and nowadays we have modern 
we have modern uh, ways of food preservation we have modern methods of food preservation and uh, one of the methods that is a practical method of food preservation quick freeze method because in every house there are refrigerators people they can freeze food and it uh, it is preserved in a better way and uh, the other modern methods of food preservation are processing grading and uh, selecting selecting processing and grading these are some other modern methods of food preservation and uh, dehydration is also one of the modern methods of food preservation dehydration means removal of water from the foods like eggs and potatoes and uh, some other foods as well so these are modern methods of food preservation and food preserved by using these modern methods remains tasty enjoyable nutritious and delicious so this is the advantage we can get variety of foods throughout the years this is how we are enjoying uh, we are enjoying uh, the benefits of science and once again i would like to tell you something in urdu about these two points which i have taught to you sabse pehle to behtar sehat aur safai ke halat hain hamare yahan better sanitary conditions so sal pehle kya tha galiyan ghair pukhta thi tang galiyan thi aur naliyan galiyon mein nahi hoti thi wahan pe pani ke talab bane hote the khada hota tha pani machhron ki awaaz ka bana hota tha galiyon mein kuda karkat phenka jata tha galiyon mein janwar ghumte the aur wohi kuda karkat khate the aur outdoor toilets common the bahar ja kar baitul khala jo hai bahar open air mein log jate the to answer the call of nature to fitri takazon ko pura karne ke liye bahar jate the तो सौ साल पहले तो बहुत बुरी सूरत हाल थी सेहत और सफाई के हालात बहुत खराब थे और पानी हासिल करते थे लोग जो थे कुओं से एंड वेल्स ऑफन कंटेंट जर्म्स बिकॉज ह्यूमन वेस्ट ऑफन ड्रेन इनटू द वेल्स फ्रॉम वेयर पीपल गॉट ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड नाउ आजकल बाय यूजिंग द साइंटिफिक मैथड साइंसी तरीका इस्तेमाल करने के बाद हमें पता चला सेहत और सफाई के जो खराब हालात हैं वो टाइफाइड हैजा कॉलरा और पेचिस डिसेंट्री इस किस्म की बीमारियों का बाइस बनते हैं सेहत और सफाई के जो खराब हालात हैं तो इन बीमारियों का बाइस बनते हैं ये हमें पता चला साइंसी तरीका इस्तेमाल करने के बाद इसलिए हम शहरों को साफ सुथरा रखते हैं ताकि बीमारियों से महफूज रहें इसलिए अब हर शहर में हर शहर में सैनिटरी डिपार्टमेंट्स हैं वाटर सप्लाई सिस्टम्स हैं और ड्रेनेज सिस्टम्स हैं तो सेहत और सफाई के हालात बहुत बेहतर हो गए हैं क्योंकि नकासी अब ड्रेनेज सिस्टम नकासी अब का निज़ाम भी है वाटर सप्लाई सिस्टम पानी की फ्राहमी का निज़ाम भी है एंड सैनिटरी सिस्टम मतलब के सेहत और सफाई का निज़ाम भी है ये सब चीज़ें अब शहरों में मौजूद हैं उसके बाद जो उसने बात की मो फूड एंड बेटर फूड आजकल हमारे पास ज़्यादा खुराक है और बेहतर खुराक है बिकॉज बाई यूजिंग द साइंटिफिक मैथड वी हैव इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो लर्न द मैथड्स ऑफ प्रिजर्विंग फूड माजी में लोग कोई शक नहीं खाने से उतना ही लुत्फानंदोज होते थे जितना कि आज हम होते हैं लेकिन उनके पास तरह तरह के खाने नहीं होते थे माजी में ज़्यादा किस्म की खुराक नहीं होती थी उनके पास क्योंकि वो सिर्फ वही खुराक खा सकते थे जो उनके अपने खेतों में अपने बागात में जो खुराक उगती थी सब्जियां फल वगैरह और मछलियां और घोंगे शेल फिश एंड फिश वो सिर्फ साहिल समंदर के करीब ही लोग खा सकते थे और इनको पकड़ने के फौरन बाद ही खा सकते थे तो ये सूरत हाल थी खुराक की ले माजी में भी खुराक को महफूज करने के तरीके थे लेकिन वो पुराने तरीके थे एंड फूड प्रिजर्व ऑफन टर्न टू बी पॉइजनस और जो खुराक महफूज की जाती थी अक्सर वो जहरीली साबित होती थी आखिर में क्योंकि उनके तरीके अनसाइंटिफिक थे सेफ नहीं थे माजी में खुराक को महफूज करने के तरीके लेकिन जदीद तरीके हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं क्विक फ्रीज मेथड है कि जल्दी से चीज़ों को ठंडा कर देना फ्रीज़र में रख कर फ्रीज करके बर्फ बना कर चीज़ों को महफूज करना उसके बाद सेलेक्टिंग खुराक का इंतखब करना प्रोसेसिंग मुख्तलिफ मराहल से गुजारना ग्रेडिंग उनकी दर्जा बंदी करना और उसके बाद डिहाइड्रेशन और चीज़ों को खुश्क करना साइंसी तरीके इस्तेमाल करके ये जदीद साइंसी तरीके हैं कि जिनसे हमारा हमारी खुराक लजीज भी रहती है और 
نشو نما سے بھرپور بھی رہتی ہے سائنسی طریقے استعمال کرنے کے بعد تو یہ ایک بہتری آئی ہماری زندگی میں اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وائز دا رائٹر از ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ بیٹر ایٹیٹیوڈ اینڈ واٹ از این ایٹیٹیوڈ ایٹیٹیوڈ از دا وے وی فیل اباؤٹ سم آئیڈیا اور تھنگ کہ ہم کسی چیز کے بارے میں ایٹیٹیوڈ آلسو مینس اپروچ سم ٹائمس وی مین بیہیویئر بٹ اٹ از سم تھنگ دیٹ ریگارڈس ٹو اے پرسنز اپروچ دا وے اے پرسن فیلس اباؤٹ سرٹن تھنگس سو وی ہیو بیٹر ایٹیٹیوڈس ناؤ اے ڈیز اینڈ دس کائنڈ آف فیلنگس واٹ وی فیل اباؤٹ اے تھنگ فار ایگزامپل اف اے پرسن تھنگس دیٹ ویئرنگ اے چارم اور ایمولیٹ وڈ پریونٹ ہیم فرام ہیونگ اے بیڈ لک ہی وڈ ویئر دیٹ چارم اینڈ فیل ان کمفرٹیبل وداؤٹ اٹ سو دس از ایٹیٹیوڈ اینڈ اف دس کائنڈ آف فیلنگس آلسو انکلوڈ فیئر ان دیم سو دس تھنگ از کالڈ سپرسٹیشن سپرسٹیشنز آر بیس لیس بلیوس وچ کاز فیئر اینڈ ان دا پاسٹ پیپل ور سپرسٹیشس اینڈ دے ور افریڈ آف بلیک کیٹس دے ور افریڈ آف بروکن مرس اینڈ دے ور افریڈ آف نمبر تھرٹین پیپل دے ور افریڈ آف آل دیز تھنگس بیکاز دے ور سپرسٹیشس پیپل ان دا پاسٹ بٹ ناؤ بائی یوزنگ دا سائنٹفک میتھڈ وی ہیو کم ٹو نو دیر از اے ساؤنڈ ریزن فار ایوری تھنگ دیٹ ہیپنس ٹو دا پیپل اینڈ دا پیپل آر نو مور افریڈ آف all these things no doubt some of the people especially in india they believe in astrology the movement of the planets and stars and their influence on the human beings astrology and fortune telling no doubt these things are still practiced but these do not influence the lives of the people as they used to do in the past people are not influenced by astrology and fortune telling now because they have come to know that there is a sound reason for everything that happens uh, to the people and uh, they do not go on believing a thing only because people had believed it for a long time they look for new truths it means that the use of science has also broadened the human the human mind they are ready to accept new truths so boys these are the changes brought about by the use of science according to the writer and uh, because you have gone through now you have to read uh, the text of uh, uh, this book as well and boys but you have to think about some of the things for example so we have studied better control of disease and better sanitary conditions more food and better food better attitude these are the things we have studied but uh, you should also think about the marvels of science around you just go on thinking and do try to write down what are the benefits of science we are enjoying in this modern world because the writers have not discussed everything this is an old essay written in 1960s they haven't mentioned everything and uh, i've also mentioned a few things uh, to keep the ball rolling but boys you have to think about uh the the benefits of science look at your surroundings and just try to write down about the benefits we are enjoying in this modern way the modern world the benefits of science and after that there was also the mention of uh, superstitions you have to think whether still we are practicing uh astrology and fortune telling whether people living in your surroundings are superstitious or not so you have to think about these things as well and uh, go on reading the text of this book and uh, prepare uh, all the expected questions that's all and all the best points see you